You're watching Drake Wing Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, Neri here from Drake Wing Gaming. Some of you know me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Tennis Ace. So the last place we left off, we had just got a bit of a classroom drama about a new, possibly a new transfer student, but then class rep says that's not true. So I don't know. Uh, it seems there's a little bit of a mystery behind this, so let's delve deeper into it and see if we can find out what's going on. Guys, please join me, sit back, and enjoy for the next 20 minutes, and let's jump right in. Alarm chain, you're up. All right, and let's go. All right. <clears throat> oh, uh, okay, you got me beat there. Kudos to you for remembering the whole thing, though. Kyoko sighs, her shoulders sagging forward. It's both the most absurd and disgusting thing I've heard my entire life. I wish I could forget it. Yeah, the Nordic people certainly weren't lacking in the imagination department. No shortage in the perversion department, either. It's not that bad. Old Japanese folklore tends to be pretty out there, too. Oh, really? I challenge you to find something as bad as this. Well... Actually, never mind. Knowing you, you probably would, and my mind is chock full of disgusting myths already. Ioko smiles at her remark. Well, if you're done ranting, then, Yuichi-kun, can you explain this myth here to me? Uh, which one? The Minotaur. Ah, so it's Greek mythology now. We spend the rest of the homeroom working in silence. I somehow wind up tutoring them in most of the stuff I still know about the subject, which turns out to be a lot. I guess I won't have to work very hard for my history subject this year. A few hours later. Oh, morning. A soup. Suichi and Saya stroll in through the open door, walking towards our usual lunch eating spot. Huh? Where's Junkun? He's a no-show today. I tried messaging him, but I didn't have any luck. Hmm. Shuichi pulls up a chair and quickly sits on it, placing his lunchbox gingerly on the table. I wonder if something happened to him. Oh god, that looks delicious. Sai quickly follows suit, opening up her lunchbox to unveil a poorly organized mess of a lunch. I mean, it looks... It still looks good. It looks, it's, well... Now that I'm looking at it, it looks kind of like a mess. It looks like a whole thing was tossed around and dug into it before being closed. Definitely zero points for presentation. Ah, there it is, the whatever hell this is lunchbox. Uh, what's in there today? Seafood? Ding, 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 we have a winner! But seriously, why should I care if my food is messy? It's all gonna get mixed up in my stomach either way. It's also going to turn into shit inside your body anyway. <laughs> Does that mean you'd eat shit? <laughs> You eat you, what the fuck? Can we please not talk about eating shit during lunchtime? Ah, sorry. Shuichi huffs grumpily, grabbing his pair of chopsticks and quickly separating the two. Ooh, that looks good. He opens the lid to his lunchbox, revealing a very well organized and pretty looking lunchbox. A pretty looking lunch. Ugh. The contrast between the two sitting side by side is so stark it nearly makes me laugh. Well, that and the way Saya is looking at it. Ah! Saya eyes his food with desire, looking back and forth between her own lunchbox and his. You sure can what? No. He cuts her down before she even has time to finish her sentence. At least let me finish talking. I already know what you're gonna ask me. Are you really sure of that? It might I might have wanted to ask you something completely different. Different from what? From asking for your lunchbox. See, that's what you were going to ask me. <laughs> Gah! Shuichi's crazy good with words sometimes. He quickly got her to admit that this is what she was planning from the start. Oh, come on. Yours is a girl's lunchbox. Wouldn't it suit me better? If it really is a girl's lunchbox, the last person at this table that should have it is you. Gah! Oh, come on. Pretty please. From negotiating to pleading, Saya sure is quick to discard her dignity. I already said no. Just eat your food. Yet, Shuichi doesn't budge. He calmly ignores her, lazily munching on his food. You're so stingy. I should ask I should ask Hitoka Chan to pack me my lunch for next pack me my lunch for me too. Please don't try to take advantage of my little sister. What's the big deal? She packs a lunchbox for you. I don't ask her to. She just does it because she wants to and I eat because I don't want to upset her. Are you saying you wouldn't eat it otherwise? No, of course I'd eat it. Hitoka's food is delicious. Well she lives with your mother, so it was either learning how to cook or dying of food poisoning. That's true. <laughs> at least someone in the family can cook. Shuichi's attention quickly snaps to me. Snaps to me. He sits in his spot, blinking in confusion at my statement. What do you mean? What about me? Oh shit, I let it slip. Ah! 
Sai immediately freezes up as she notices my blunder. Uh, I, no, 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 I mean, I mean in the household. Yeah, I admit that at least someone in that house knows how to cook. You know, since you don't live with them, you don't count. Hmm. Shit, was I too obvious? That's true. You, certainly, you, you can certainly see it that way. Sai and I breathe out a collective sigh of relief. Thank God you're gullible, Shuichi. Oh, I almost forgot. Did you guys hear the news yet? Oh yeah, that's true. Uh, Katsuragi since I came over to our class this morning to tell us. You mean... You mean about Shima-sensei being sick, right? Yeah, that came as a shock to me too. Class rep shows up out of nowhere, putting a hand on Shuichi's shoulder. Though she has a gentle smile on her face, her voice sounds oddly stern. Uh... Uh... They both look awkwardly at each other for a few seconds. Class rep walks behind Shuichi, putting her hands on his shoulder and leaning on him a bit. Right, Shokun? Ow, 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 ow! Ayuka-chan, you're hurting me! She wears a sweet smile on her face, but her hands are squeezing Shuichi's shoulder so hard that I'm afraid she'll puncture him with her claws. I give up! I give up! Shuichi taps her arms frantically, like a wrestler tapping out of a fight he can't win. Well, anyway, I'm glad you guys heard the news. Bye! <laughs> she merrily walks out of the classroom, skipping on her step. What was that about? I thought I was going to die. I wonder if something happened to Ayo-chan today. Seriously, is no one worried about me right now? Saya waves him off. You'll be fine, don't worry about it. You're such jerks! The sound of the door echoes. Ah! It's like everyone is, like, bumbling into class. Jun walks through the door. I'm so shocked by his sudden appearance that I'm left unable to react as the tiger plops down in his chair. What? Are you okay, Kobayashi-san? Kobayashi-kun? You don't look so hot. I I'm fine. Really? You don't look fine. You look like crap. No offense. None taken. He rummages through his bag, pulling out his own lunchbox. He looks at it for a few seconds with a sour expression, eventually shoving it back into his bag and settling it down on the floor. You're not gonna eat? I don't have much of an appetite right now. June slumps down on his table. What happened today that's got you so down? The competition's tomorrow, remember? Oh, is that... Shuichi Sh jabs me square in my ribs with his open hand. Jesus, hand feels like a knife stabbing right through me! Ow! Painfully rubbed my side as Shuichi glares at me. It's fine, Shuichi-san. I heard he expected Yui-chan Yui Yuichi-san to forget anyway. Ah! Oh fuck! The way he, the way I said it tran that way I said it made it transparent that I had forgotten about it. Whoa! Sorry, so sorry, June. I, I swear I was going to watch you, honest. And eh, there's no point anyway. I've been forbidden from taking part by my parents. Wait, why? My, I've gotten a little ill recently. They decided it'd be better if I didn't push myself. Is it that again? June nods, the expression on his face is so strained. Um, that? What's that? Who's this? Oh, okay. Oh, um, how do I put it? I had to take June Kun to the infirmary last week because of a, a spike in blood pressure caused by stress. He got dizzy and felt lightheaded, and that triggered a panic attack, so I couldn't so he couldn't breathe. June stares at Shuichi in amazement, completely bewildered by his words. You have excellent memory, Shuichi-san. I try. <laughs> anyway, they're really going to keep you from participating because of that, then? Yeah, said I wasn't allowed to touch the piano until the doctor okayed me again. They're afraid I'd relapse. It's bullshit. Whoa, I never thought I'd live to see the day when a cuss word could come, would come out of your mouth. I'm really pissed, so don't be surprised. Saya starts patting him on the back, talking to him with a sweet, gentle voice. Aw, oh, they're there. You'll feel better soon, I promise. Um, Mizuguchi-san, I'm not a child. Really? Because you certainly act like one sometimes. Ah, I guess I can't disagree with that. Oh, so he does have some self-awareness. Aren't you guys supposed to be trying to make me feel better? We are, but teasing you is too much fun. You suck. <laughs> I'm just joking to try and get you to lighten up. Shuichi runs his fingers through June's head fur for a few seconds, then he starts vigorously tousling it. Lighten up a little, will ya? Ah! Shosan, stop it! Well, aren't you two cute together? June smiles, drumming his fingers on his table. You know, I could just go to the competition anyway. 
Well, that's your parents' approval? It's not like they can stop me from going on stage anyway. I'm old enough to make decisions for myself. Sorry to burst your bubble, but the age of majority is 20 years old, not 19. Ka! You could just show up there without saying anything and perform as if nothing happened. I mean, I don't think your parents will have told the staff about you not participating anymore. Oh, that's true. Hmm. Don't give him ideas. Oh, come on. He's old enough to know what he wants to do. I'm not telling him he should do it. But if he cares more about participating in competition than caring for his health, what's it to you? But he... Fine. He can do whatever he wants. You're right. Saya blinks multiple times in confusion. That's weird. You're usually self-righteous to a fault. I, I was looking forward to arguing with you. It's no fun if you just lie down and take it. When did you turn into Rushihara? <laughs> she smiles, shrugging into light. I understand why he does it. But antagonizing you is loads of fun. To borrow a phrase of June from June, you suck. Saya laughs, snorting every now and then. Oh good, you're all here. Yeah, <laughs> Kesuk walks into the room carrying a thick magazine in his hands. Kei-chan, what are you doing here? Take a look at this. He throws the magazine on the center of the table, nearly knocking down some of our food. It's this month's copy of Saitama Spomag. Look at what it says on the cover. Hmm, let's see, it's... Sai gasps, picking up the magazine and nearly shoving her face in it. Eh? What is it? Is something wrong? It's... it's you, Yuichi-kun! You're on the cover of the magazine! What? Give me that! I snatch the copy away from her hand and examine it myself. Shuichi and June try scooting closer to see it as well, and I can't help but feel a little bit claustrophobic. I I it's true! The cover says Rising Star Month. They dedicated this edition to writing articles about promising athletes in multiple fields. That's pretty cool, actually. That's not all, either. Look inside. We've got all our own articles. Even me! Oh, wow! Gimme! He snatches his out of my hand and starts flipping through the pages excitedly. Hey, I wasn't done with that! Shh. Aha! Found mine! Let's see, what does it say? Scouts will want to keep be keeping an eye on 18-year-old Shuichi Arata, who, keeps, who should be graduating from high school this year. Arata has become well-known as one of the Japan's best setters, and has received the Saitama Best Setter Award three times in a row already. Arata's superior precision as a settler, coupled with a varied offensive re re repertoire, make him the foundation of his team's attack. Many professional teams have expressed an interest in scouting him after he has finished with his studies, but when approached for an interview, Setter Irata declined to comment. That's odd. I don't remember being approached for an interview. Hmm, let's we'll see what else is here. Even so, we firmly believe that Setter Irata has a bright future ahead of him if he chooses to pursue a career in volleyball, and it wouldn't be all unthinkable if he became the face of Japan's national team sometime in the near future, as he... Alright, that's enough. Quit hogging the spotlight. I want to see my article, too. Keisuke takes the magazine forcefully from Shuichi. What? Didn't you already read yours? At least let me finish mine! I didn't. As soon as I saw it, I came over to show you guys. Learn to share. Let's see... Keisuke Hara was already a very discussed name in the media as young aspiring athlete is also the heir of the multi-millionaire Urushihara Corporation. While he has been toiling behind Michimaya for a while, we have seen some steady climb in his national rank, and many believe he might soon make a breakthrough. Urushihara's style is based around strategy and analysis, and many have compared his superior tactics to Japan's number one player, Takagi Tanabe, who stayed as number one in Japan for the past three years. Only the future will tell what we can expect from this young athlete, but we have high hopes for him. Not only that- Alright, that's enough. Give it back now. The two start wrestling for the magazine, pulling on it in a childish dispute of tug of war. Stop behaving like kids! I don't care. I want to finish reading my article. It's my magazine. I'm the one who bought it. I get to read mine first. Uh, um, guys, you're making too much- <sighs> Shut up! Shut it. The two continue to struggle for the magazine. Eventually, just as was wish as we already expected, Shuichi wins and takes the magazine from Keisuke. This result was already pretty obvious, considering how much stronger Shuichi is. But... Keiko's hand slips and Shuichi loses his balance when the magazine is suddenly released. He tumbles back on his seat and ends up hitting June square in the face with the magazine. OW! What? June gun, are you alright? Settle down, it's just a magazine. You're not gonna break his nose with that. But I could have hit him in the eye. What if he... June gives him a few taps on the shoulder, rubbing his own nose with a pained expression. Shuichi son, I'm fine. Just please don't hit me in the face anymore. Y yes. June grabs hold of the magazine in Shuichi's hand and takes it from and takes it away from him. 
He does it. He does it so gently and smoothly that Shuichi doesn't even register it at first. What? Hey! I want to read the article on Yuichi's son. He's on the cover, so I imagine he must have more de a more detailed article. And remember, you just hit him in the face with a damn thing. At least let him use it as he wants to. That. <laughs> that's fair. Wait, but that's my ma- Shh! Saya calmly shuts him down before he has the chance to really say anything. Saitama's very own rising star, Yuichi Michimaya, is set to have his professional debut at the end of this year, with many people anxious to see how he performs in his last year in the junior rankings, as that could set the, as that could set the tone for the beginning of his career. Despite a few setbacks in later years and having some performance issues when it counted most, Michimaya is still cited by many sports critics to be one of Japan's most promising athletes across all categories. He has the body of a trained athlete, keen senses and reflexes, the mind of a chess master, he has a force to be reckoned with on the courts. Will this be the year when he finally defeats Takagi Tanabe and claims the title of Japan's number one junior? We can only speculate at this point, but many of us hope to see it. Shuichi looks up from the magazine for a second, giving me a pointed stare. Mind of a chess master? Really? Hey, I'm not the one who wrote this! Still, that's really high praise coming from them. I'm not surprised, the chief editor of this magazine has always had a boner for Yuichi. But what? Mizuguchi-san! What? It's true. Even when he loses, he, when he gets glowing reviews every time. He's had something written about him in this magazine almost every month for the past three years. Uh, that level of fanaticism sounds like something my dad would do. Your dad's a fan of Yuichi? Fan doesn't even begin to describe it. Oh, really? What's he like? Heh. <laughs> He has all of your matches from the past four years recorded. He rewatches them often, and he always shows up to your games, even when they're halfway across the country. What? Sounds like you should get a restraining order on him, Yuichi. No offense. It's fine. My dad means well, but he can be definitely be a little intense. Well, I can certainly see the family resemblance. What do you mean? Cake and sighs, rubbing the bridge of his nose in exasperation. No, nothing. Never mind. June cocks his head to the side in confusion, a gesture that has easily turned into the most adorable thing I've seen all day. Well, now that that's all well and done, can I have the magazine, please? I want to see my article. Ho! Oh, there isn't one. The air immediately goes frigid. What do you mean, there isn't one? Uh, Sai-chan, calm down. What are you talking about? I am calm. The constant cracking of her knuckles says otherwise. Oh no, I, they didn't overlook you, it's just that this month's edition is focused on male players. The, the, the next month is apparently for the girls. Ah! Her body relaxes and we instinctively relax with her. I was already preparing myself for a Saya temper tantrum. Why didn't you say so earlier? You almost gave me the wrong idea here, Keikun. <laughs> she playfully slaps him multiple times on the back. Ow! 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 Scoozy son, it hurts! Oh, don't be such a baby. It was just some light taps. As if a cute little girl could hurt you. Where's the cute little girl? I don't see her. Oh, Irata, do you want me to punch you? Ugh, Saiyan, you're scary. You're as scary as a Yakuza leader right now. Jeez, you're so mean. I'm just honest. Then don't be. Hey, what's at that gate? My attention immediately snapped to the side, where I see Jin staring intently at the window. What's wrong, Jin? Is that a guy riding a horse? <clears throat> Is that a guy riding a horse? Huh? Everyone's attention immediately snaps to the front gate, as we see what looks like a white horse galloping towards the entrance. What? You've got to be kidding me. Yep, without a doubt, that's someone riding a hor on a horseback towards the entrance. Is that a yoko -san? What? A, a yoko? The horseman comes to a stop in front of the building. Class rep walks up to him and seems to be greeting him. So that's the new student, huh? Wait, so there's actually a new- is a new student? Yeah, they informed all the third year classrooms since he'd be transferring here from Europe. They wanted to make sure everyone would receive him well. He's transferring to this classroom, actually. Wait, what? Where? Where is he transferring from? France, if I'm not mistaken. Whoa, a French boy? He must be so dreamy. Oh, I bet he's gonna be so cute, too! Shit! Last thing I need is more competition! Now I'll be able to get with any girl! Let's face it, you wouldn't have a chance if you weren't the la- You wouldn't have a chance if you were the last guy in, he in here! That's too mean! There they are, bro. We'll get through this together. Shouldn't you be telling me that- Shouldn't you be telling me that, that that's not true? 
Oh, uh, uh, am I supposed to lie? You suck! Ah, oh, hello there, foxy boy. Everyone, meet Victor! Before we know it, class rep has already shown up in our class, another fox following in tow. He stood quite a bit taller than the class rep, his face covered by beige fur that descended down towards his neck and disappeared inside of his uniform. Alright guys, I'm gonna pause it right there. It seems like a good place to pick it up in the next episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, leave a super thanks if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!